Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to see the another concept about the shell programming. And that concept is nothing but the loop conditions. There are several loop conditions are available in Unix. We are going to see few of them. So let's start today's session. The types of loop available are while loop, for loop, until loop and select loop. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to achieve or how to use while loop and for loop during programming. So let's start. While loop is very simple. So if you have the various operations, various logical concept you need to do in sequentially or uh, one after another, then it is good idea to use the while loop. The syntax is very simple. So while then you have to use the command which you want to achieve. Then you have to use the keyword do and then logic. What logic you want to perform based on the, the while condition. And at the end of the operation you have to write the done. That is do any. So this is very straightforward while loop. The example of the while loop is here we have to define the, the basic syntax hash bank sign then bin and sh that is very common across the shell programming and we know the reason why we need to define then we have to define uh, we are defining the variable one with some initial value of course you can use the command line operator also that will see in the demo then the while keyword then rectangle bracket open we have to write open rectangle bracket then we have to define a command here we are checking the the variable one value is less than 10 and then close bracket so that is the command we are defining you can use any other command also after that we have to use the do that is do keyword and then uh, the logic so here what we are doing we are doing echo variable one and variable what we are doing on variable one we are doing some arithmetic operation using expression so that is the the tilt uh, uh, there is a single quote that is below the tilt keyword we are using that code then expr that is for expression and then we are adding variable one with the value one so we are increasing the value of the variable by one and we are assigning to that variable one again so that is the logic so we are increasing one value at a time and at the end of this logic we are writing do any that is done command so while do done is a mandatory while writing the while loop the next kind of loop is for loop the for loop operates on the list of the atoms it repeats a set of commands for every atom in the list for example if you have the f uh, if you want to iterate from the number one to n so how can we achieve so instead of writing while loop we can use the for loop so where you, where you have to define for as a keyword then the variable name you can use any variable name which will be used to store the value temporary then in that is i n and then the all the values after that for means condition is done we have to write a do then the logic which we want to execute and at the end done as like for loop it's very simple so example here is we are iterating from or we are loop uh, looping the values from 0 to 9 using the for then variable where you can use any word instead of where then in that is required and then then values then we are using the do that is do as a condition then echo where just we are printing that value at a time and then print then once we are done with that we are writing do n as a keyword that is done keyword it's very simple so on this using the same for loop we can print all the files within the system for example here we are trying to print all the uh, all the files which starts with the dot bash and with any other after that so so in order to perform that we are using the for then key uh, variable name is file then in then we are giving the path dollar home for a slash so we are searching the home directory then dot bash asterisk then we are do and then doing the echo with the, the file variable what we have created here during the for loop and we are at the end we are doing the done so these are the very simple straightforward examples we will ha have the demo on these examples 
in order to do the demonstration we have already in the unix conditions uh, folder or directories and here we have created few files so very first uh, demo we are look, going to see is a while so in order to demonstrate you on the while loop we have created one variable var1 with the it's an initialized with the input argument value dollar one and we are looping this value until it gets less than 10 so what we are trying to do we are trying to send some value in the input and then we are increasing that value until value reaches to 10 if value is greater than 10 then the the expression or the logic will not be executed so in the logic we are just echoing the value and we are assigning the value by increasing 1 so let's execute this program yes uh, just use the sh command and while loop so if you do not provide the argument it will give some error and the error is unary operator expected so that means parameter or input parameter is required so if i start with the zero it will print from zero to nine like zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten is not printed because we have the less than condition it's not less than equal it is just less than if you provide the value 4 it will start from the 4 and it will print the rest of the values such as 5 6 7 8 and 9 what will happen if you just pass the 8 value if you just pass 8 it will print 8 and 9 if you just pass 9 it will print just 9 if you pass more than 10 for example 12 let me clear it If you pass suppose 12 it will not print anything because the 12 value is greater than 10 and it will not satisfy that condition and it will not go into the loop so this is very simple so on the same line we have the for loop so for example for the for loop we have using the for as a keyword the var as a variable you can use any name here then we have to use in condition and then several parameters so the parameters are normally separated by the space so the first parameter is india then space the next parameter is japan then space the next parameter is the united state of america if you see in this complete word we have the spaces so if you want to ignore those spaces we have to use these codes that is the reason i'm using the codes for the all the words to avoid the interpretation of the the space within that word as a unit then we have the Germany key uh, word, then Spain, Canada, and Greece. So we are passing the n number of parameters, and what we are doing, we are doing the, <coughs> we are reading, <coughs> sorry, we are reading one parameter at a time, and we are printing using the echo command. Let's try to run this. So I'm using the for loop command. And I can see the all the values are getting printed properly, such as India, Japan, the United States of America, J Germany, Spain, Canada, and Greece. Now, as we said, we can use the for loop to print the all the files. So in your system, so in order to demonstrate it, we have created this very simple file. We are using the for loop. We are creating variable name file then we are using in as a keyword then the home directory which is a predefined variable in the your system environment variables then dot bash and the asterisk and then we are printing using echo it's very simple straightforward so if you want to do that let's let's try to run this using the sh so if you notice here all the dot bash files are getting printed what are available in the home directory so if you want to modify this file you can just go here use a, a small i or capital i to make it insert or updatable now i'll just do the star dot and let's see what will happen so it will just print all the files with the we start with the dot So it, if you notice, the, it printing all the files like even the current directory, parent directory, 
it printing the bash history cache all the dot files are getting printed so this is very simple and straightforward logic for using the for and while loop as we know there will be some other loop conditions such as what we had discussed in our tutorial like we have the select until so those kind of conditions we'll see in the next session i hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand how to write logic for while and for loop if you have any questions or queries about unix or any other relevant topic around the unix or other technologies such as java web services enterprise job in that is ejb or jt technologies you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video thank you again for watching my video i i hope you like this video if you like then do not forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for supporting my channel have a nice time